That was really cool. This thing is, uh, let's say for a, hold on a second. Everybody say hi to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> still at the Grand Design Rally in Goshen, Indiana. Mm -hmm. It's the last day and we thought there's no way we can leave here without taking a look at the new Momentum product. The little Mo, <laughs> right there. AKA the G-Class. Yeah, so the new Momentum G-Class is a travel trailer and Nate is gonna take us around and show us some of the features. That's right, let's go on in. Here with Nate. We're going to be looking at this new Momentum. What? What is this? It's a 21G. So, 21G. Yeah, this is the first floor plan in our G class, which is a new segment of the Momentum brand. That is cool. It's a travel trailer. What do you need to pull this? It's half ton towable. That's half what we're towable. so excited yeah, about. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, and even full size SUVs, yeah. like a Escalade with the six liter, 8,600 pounds, you can tow a toy hauler now. So, that's cool. Yeah. So you got the non skid and you got the angle. Yeah, we just didn't want tires or people slipping on the back. Yeah. And then we used the residential flooring coming forward. But for a small unit, it's mm -hmm. 2611. It's really versatile. And you have 14.2 foot of cargo to the entertainment center there, 79 inches here, so you can put quads side by side. Side. Right, so, so you, can, you can get something really long in here. Oh yeah. Does it come with these recliners? Yeah, the Euro chairs. Oh, hey. Oh, this is nice. Those are, those are pretty cool. Yeah. The nice thing about the trailer part of the G-Class is that pretty much everything is standard. So mm -hmm. the Rockford speakers, 15K AC, and you can option the gen in and out. Other than that, it's what you it's see is what you get. Yeah. So is this the same ramp that's on the back of the regular Momentum? Pretty close. It's yeah. 92 inches, so just under 8 feet. That's cool. And you notice nice departure angle going in. I don't know yeah. that we're exactly level, but you know, Harleys, anything like that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. The only time I ever have an issue is if I'm nose high, if I've leveled, mm -hmm. and then we're nose high, and then the ramp's like up here, <laughs> and then I, I drag tailpipes coming out. What's the capacity on this as far as your toys? So it weighs around 6,500 pounds. Uh -huh. uh, we downrated the GVWR to 9,500. I think your total capacity with hitch weight is about 11.2. Cool. So for a small unit, I mean, it's got a ton of capacity. But, yeah. you know, we, we treated it like a momentum. You know, right. we put big water water tanks on it. It mm -hmm. does have a fuel station, which is kind of hit or miss in right. this segment. So it's got all the stuff. This has an own in 4K gen. Oh, okay. So this is, wow, okay. I'll have to see where, they, where you put that. It was this actually is... pretty cool how we did it. Yeah. So a lot of times people get nervous when you put generators under the bed. Uh -huh. I was. So what we did is we put it in an oversized gen box. Uh -huh. So the box isn't rattling. It's got plenty of space nice. away from the generator. Uh -huh. Bended the front door so the sound could come out the front. Also the gen can breathe. Then we insulated the whole gen box. Oh, that's cool. Then uh, under the bed base, we actually use radiant foil so no uh -huh. heat comes through at all. Oh, that's cool. And I'm telling you, when it runs, you can't even hear it. It's yeah. awesome. EVAP, so it's gas, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing for toys and for yep. the 30 gallon? Yeah, 30. Cool. Mm -hmm. Similar to what you have on the fifth wheel, one difference is it's single tank, right. a single tank 30. Yeah, our fuel station is basically used to refill the generator. Yep. So we've got 60 gallons of generator, which is, you know equates to about 60, 70 hours for us. So. Sure, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, then you can go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. so it looks like you've got Momentum branded Happy Jacks. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. I like, I like the color scheme. We actually took our current Oakley and uh, Java Decor out uh -huh. of Momentum and we combined them. So, uh, okay. so the G-Class has one interior, it's called Slate, and that's what it is. That's so. cool, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> what really makes this unit special is the configuration of the floor plan. Mm -hmm. um, most of them that you find this size, it's a corner front bed. This is like, a, it's a front master suite. Let's take a look up in here. Let's see what we've got. Start up with the nose here. So queen size, yep. queen size bed in the slide. Mm -hmm. So you've got that, and then you've got this pretty cool mirror here. Oh wow, that's it's got this big storage back there. It's got a hanger. 
for hang up clothes. And then the double entrance bath is nice. Oh yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yep. So it's got the pass-through bathroom here. Yeah, for a small unit, the configuration's yeah. killer. Yeah, but how many feet is this? It's 2611. Basically 27 foot travel trailer. That's a big shower. I'm gonna get in. Oh yeah. I mean, I, oh geez, yeah. I think it's probably about the same as we've got in our 397, as far as height goes. It's a good size shower. So many travel trailers, you see the uh, I don't know what you call it, but I call it like a potty shower, yep. where you've got <laughs> you've got the uh, toilet and everything all in one. So this is nice. So we're working on the big brother to this right now, the 25 and the 28, and we'll have those coming out uh, here this fall. So this is just in 2019, this is just coming out, right? Yeah, we started production in July, mm -hmm. and we started shipping units uh, just last month in August. Yeah, plenty of window. I see there's a rolled up carpet here. Is that designed to go in here? Yes. It's already got good flooring. If you can see, the flooring is basically the same as in the regular momentum line. We lay on the carpet just to cover up the tie downs if you want to make it a little more homey. It's a nice shaw carpet, so yeah. residential. This is probably just a regular microwave, I'd assume. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But you got the oven. Mm -hmm. If you're in another which we've had good luck with, we like ours. This looks a little bit newer with the black, with the silver. Deep cabinets here. Especially for a travel trailer, this has got a lot of space. Slide, awning. So this has the gen set in it. Mm -hmm. You said it's a 45? It's four. 4,000? Yep. Yeah, which for a unit this size is more than enough power. Oh, yeah. And I assume this is probably 30 amp? This is 30 amp. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow, I like that sink. Very cool. Mm -hmm. 19 foot awning. It's oh. a massive awning for a little yeah. unit. I wish we had that. <laughs> <laughs> the overall rig, what does it come out weighing? Oh, weight wise? Yeah. This one, a 6578. I notice there's two dump connections here. Mm -hmm. uh, is that a separate for black and gray, or what is that all about? Yeah, unfortunately, the way that the floor plan laid out, we had to do a sidewall vent. And by code, you can't plumb those together. So we're working with our RD department. Uh -huh. I think we have something figured out, but we have to make sure it meets code. So right. It's your bathroom gray and your bathroom right. black, and then your kitchen gray. So at least you have the gray with the black to wash everything out. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So from a functionality standpoint, it's fine. It's just a little annoying. Yeah, so. but you got a lot of functionality here in a trailer too. So. You know what? Honestly, it was a sacrifice we were willing to make for the sake of the floor plan. Yeah, so. if you had a choice between a little bit of tank inconvenience and a good floor plan, you'd pick a good floor plan every time. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah nice front cap, 48 inch LEDs going up the front. Oh, yeah. And it looks like a mo wheel. Yeah, it does. Very cool. This is 220, uh, they keep wanting to say 20 gallon, but that's not right, 20, 20 pound. pound. Yeah. <laughs> Power front jack, it's got all the stuff. So. Oh yeah, so it comes with that. Is that standard also, the, uh, the jack? Yeah, the only option at this point is with or without the gen, regardless, it's gonna be gen prep. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I thank like you. It. Thanks, thanks a lot yeah, for the tour. Glad you liked it. I'm sure these will be pretty popular. We like hope it. so. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan, right? Yeah. Yeah, this thing, especially for being a light travel trailer toy hauler, is really, Super really, cool. really pretty cool. And it's you know a lot of a lot of trailer toy haulers that we've seen like this aren't so well equipped or what's the word I'm looking for well, fancy stuff. It feels higher end. And what I thought was neat was although it's a smaller unit, the ceilings are so tall. Yeah. That it didn't feel tight in there, so that was pretty cool. Yeah, it feels more. Like like a fifth wheel inside than a travel trailer. Yeah, I think that this is going to be a super cool addition. It's going to, to be the airline, the little mo. It's going to be the gateway drug into the 44 footers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. So that was cool. I'm glad we made a special trip onto this side of the park to yep. um, check it out. I hope you liked this little walkthrough tour. Please remember to click the like button below and to subscribe. That's right. That'll really help us out if you do that. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.